Ford is apparently getting another Star Wars collaboration, or Star Wars V2 as most people call it, and it's bringing a lot of cool skins with it. Before we get into the news guys, make sure you guys like the video and comment a flashlight emoji. Yeah, I know it's kind of weird, but I don't exactly have a lightsaber emoji. But anyway, let's get directly into it. Star Wars V2. Within the next month, likely around May 4th, aka May the 4th be with you, May the force be with you. For the next Star Wars is highly likely to make a huge comeback in the game and will bring a lot of new cosmetic sets. Currently in the files, there's actually a lot of cosmetics and code names that are speculated to be for the Star Wars collaboration, and for good reason. One of the code names is called Cirrus Vine, that comes with a skin, a back bling, a pickaxe, a glider, and a wrap and other cosmetic set codenames plot twist, which would come with a skin, a back bling, a glider, a wrap, a pickaxe, and an emote. Based on the codename for this set, which character do you guys think this will be? I think it's gonna be, well, I don't know. Now we can't expect this collaboration to release soon according to a recent tweet that was made by the one and only Donald Mustard, and he states, so many secrets here. Yeah, very descriptive. Now obviously this is Chewbacca and C-3PO, though I am definitely unsure if these will be the new skins, as of course the tweet is rather old. But but it would be the first time. So I'm not exactly positive as far as if these will be the scans released into the game for Star Wars X Fortnite V2, but they would be fire drops to say the least. Now remember guys, it could be any other character as well, as Star Wars has tons of characters in the series. But I personally would love to see these two characters come to the game next. What do you guys think? What we can expect? My good friend Wenzo let me know some of his thoughts on the recent leagues and he states that there will likely be around 2-4 to four Star Wars skins in this collaboration, along with the return of the Darth Vader skin of course. Now with this upcoming event, we could definitely anticipate a new Rift encounter will be happening inside the game, as they do tend to happen with these collaborations. Now we can also expect the Force Mythic, a brand new Mythic, a new blaster, which yes, it is different from the previous one, and of course the return of lightsabers. I'm extremely hopeful we also might be seeing a new Mythic with this collaboration and honestly, I'm really excited to see what this could actually be. As far as the other scans in this collaboration, well, there is no confirmation as of right now, but here's what's currently speculated. In the files, there's actually a bunch of code names right now, and we think that plot twist, a code name could be Palpatine. Hopefully I say that right. Do it. Another codename called Cirrus Vibe, very cool one, could be Cal Ketsis. A Kurok Vine could be Ahsoka. And last but not least, Horde of the Vine could be Hu Yang. Obviously, every first letter of those codenames matches with the names of those characters. But then again, these are just completely speculations, so take it with a great assault. Answered questions from Donald Mustard. According to Donald Mustard, there is currently no plans for a Fortnite movie, which is an incredibly huge bummer to be honest, but at least we have Pharaohs over on Twitter making movies for us. Now on the bright side, we also might be seeing a Last of Us X Fortnite collaboration sometime in the future, as that was somewhat confirmed by Donald Mustard himself when asked today. If that collaboration is anything like the Last of Us game or TV show, I would be absolutely ecstatic. The Seven's Lore Donald Mustard has stated that the Seven storyline is not over just yet. I mean, did you guys really think they would kill him off already? Now, unfortunately, that's all we know of as of right now. He didn't really say anything else. But if you're a fan of the Seven and the storyline overall, take that as a great sign that they are completely still alive and the storyline will be revived shortly. Console UEFN to my complete surprise, Donald was actually asked about UEFN coming to console, and once again, to my complete surprise, he pretty much stated that he was personally playtesting UEFN over on the PS5, and in his words, it turned out great. So if you ask me, that's an incredible sign that UEFN and console will be coming within the next few updates, or perhaps during Chapter 4 Season 3's launch. Now guys, if you made it this far in the video, the first person who comments the secret word HAPPY in the comments below will get a 1000 V-Buck gift card. Good luck, and may the fastest keyboard warrior win. Fortnite X Doctor Who. According to the biggest Fortnite leakers in our community, they actually caught wind from an insider that Fortnite X Doctor Who could be coming soon. To be exact though, we kind of believe, according to the sources at least, that it will be taking place around November of this year, which I know is quite a while from right now, but it will be worth the wait, I promise. Now let's talk about cosmetics that are currently known. We actually know quite a few item shop releases, so here they are as follows. Item shop features two skins, two pickaxes, one glider, one emote, and one free spray for something called Beep the Meep. Uh, not gonna lie, I never actually watched Doctor Who before, so I don't really know who this furry rat Beep the Meep guy is, but he seems pretty cool, so I'll take a free spray of him just for trolling purposes. Now, according to FireMonkey's Twitter, here's some bonus information. Based on what I'm aware of, this will be a two-week-long event in the game, using the events tab similar to the most wanted or Dragon Ball event, featuring a set of free rewards for completing challenges, as well as item shop cosmetics. 
He also states, There was also once plans for a zero point event for Fall Guys with Doctor Who skins, which are already released in Fall Guys at the moment, originally being intended to come out of the zero point into Fall Guys and Fortnite. But all that eventually got scrapped, which could relate to all the old Fortnite X Fall Guy leaks we had talked about previously before. Now, overall, it seems like a huge collaboration to celebrate the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who. Honestly, I really have to watch this show. It seems absolutely legendary for 60 years. Travis Scott Concert I'm sure you guys are all going crazy after hearing Travis Scott Concert come out of my mouth, but sadly, it's literally just a UEFN map remake. I'm not entirely sure who made this as it was posted by another popular YouTuber, but it actually looks completely insane and it's giving me crazy nostalgia. I still think this is the best concert Fortnite has ever done, and I'm honestly unsure if we'll ever see such a highly detailed concert again. But even if we don't, I'm so thankful I got to experience such a crazy event. Final thoughts. Guys, I just want to say I appreciate you guys sticking around, and if you're listening to this right now, just know you've got a special place in my heart. Uh, making these videos is actually a lot of work, surprisingly, uh, but they are incredibly rewarding since you guys are so freaking supportive. I just want to say thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay happy, my friends.